Welcome to the another episode of Abstract Thesis series. In this series, we are digging deep into the Power BI concepts. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for our new video. Hello and welcome to another video on Abstract Thesis series. And in this video, we are going to discuss how can we get data from various Azure sources like Azure Data Lake or Azure Data Factory. So to begin with what we need is we need an Azure account and what I would like to do is I would like to set up a Azure free tier account and see if I can get these things there and we can configure that and I can show it case to you. Our main objective is to you know get the data on Power BI and analyze that. So let's jump onto the browser and search here for Azure free tier and open this one the first link itself is that and you can say start you can see start free here and then it has given the list of you know azure services which are free for 12 months and after that um, you it will they will become paid and then you also get two dollar 200 credit for 30 days uh, which you can uh, utilize uh, for this one then there are certain things which are completely free uh, which are also uh, which are always free like azure cosmos db azure bot service and all those so we can utilize that and you click and you can click on more to see more of these services now let's click on the free account and when i reach to this screen i and um, i can now see that you know there's again link for the free services and if i click uh, i can see all the services listed here uh, which is which time period they are free like this is free for 12 months and all those and then you can see Azure Cosmos DB, Azure Cosmos DB, Azure Database for MySQL is only for 12 months. For Postgres is always Azure DevOps is always free. Then we have Kubernetes, which is always free. Azure Map, which is always free. Then Blob Storage, which is always Blob Storage is only for 12 months. Cognitive Search, and then we have Data Catalog, Data Factory, and so many other options are available here with us okay so let's go ahead and uh, create this free account so we say start free and it will ask sign up and i'll use my account current account which i have to sign up with that and i say sign in and if i have not used that account already then it will create an account for me I say I agree, I agree, say next, it's asking for number and I say text me, got the verification code. Okay, so it's asking for some credit card detail. I'll pause the video here, give the credit card details, and then we will, I'll come back and continue. So I have done that verification. Let's see what all it, what it need. I say sign up. I say submit I provide my feedback I say submit okay so we are ready to start uh, with this one and uh, we can select the time zone name email id and uh, whatever we want and i can say submit okay i can go to the azure portal so this is my uh, dashboard right now what i have 
and now I can go ahead and set up uh, the uh, accounts various accounts which I need and then you can see that I got my credit also here so I have a credit which is available which I have to use within 30 days uh, uh, to you know uh, take the advantage of uh, various stuff which we can get and then there is an upgrade option if you want to upgrade from the free tier to the uh, pay as you go uh, then we can upgrade that so now our objective is that we put data into Azure environments and then take that data back into the Power BI and analyze that. We already have our Azure account in place and we want to create a Azure data lake Zen 2 storage and we would like to use that. So what I'm going to do here is uh, that for that I need to create a new resource. So I'll go to the Azure portal and there I'm trying to create a new resource. I'll say new resource and in the new resource we need a storage Gen 2 uh, data lake Gen 2 is nothing but a storage. So I say create and I go to the free tire and I need to give a name. So I'm going to give it is I'll say create new and I'm going to give it is demo Amit okay then storage name also demo amit only lowercase so d small a small okay then this is fine go to advance in the advance we are going to enable the data lake gen 2 enable hierarchy's namespace that's what we are going to do next data preparation we keep it same we will make it enable public access from all networks right now this will keep default this also will keep our default microsoft manage keys i'm going to use tags we are not going to create anything next review and create so running validation it might take a minute or so to run the validation if everything is fine it's going to create the resource validation has passed and now we can create the resource so it is initializing the deployment. So once the resource has been created, uh, we will get a message the resource has been created and then we can go to that resource. So now we can see this resource deployment is in progress. It may take a little bit of time. So you can see this is now coming up it's accepted still the it is in progress and our resource has been created successfully see the deployment uh, uh, deployment name subscription resource group is this start time and this is correlation id deployment details if you need something and we can say go to resource so these are our, our resource details then we go to containers and we need to define one of our containers and the container name would be demo Amit and we'll say create okay Fine, let's create the default one. And here you can go and look at the access policy, container properties, access policies. You can define access policy and you can change the access level. All those things you can do. Now we are inside our container demo Amit and we need to upload something. So add directory upload we go to upload and say select a file we go to power bi data we should have csvs and we load our sales file this one seems correct it seems like a csv file open upload so i got my csv file let me upload more files so i upload the customer file
I upload item and I also upload my geography file. So these are the usual table which I use for my demo. I'm uploading all of them. So I have uploaded all the files. Now what we would like to see, we would like to go ahead and use it these files on Power BI. Okay, fine. So let's look at, so this is our, this one and let's look at, so these are the access keys if you want to use. Okay, and these are our resource sharing these are our configurations so all these details are there so let's jump onto the power bi and let's see what power bi asks for we'll provide those details and see how can we now access this azure zen 2 into power bi i have opened the power bi and i would like to connect to now azure data lag gen 2 which we have created on the azure free tire as so to do that let's go to get data and it should will open a pop-up and in that pop-up uh, we will get these options uh, and we are going to select azure there and in azure we are going to select azure data lake gen 2 and we say connect and when we say connect it is asking for a url now how to get the url let's go back to azure and in the azure you will not get this url into the overview you don't see any url out here complete url so you have to scroll down scroll down and you will get these endpoints into the endpoint further scroll down and you will get this primary endpoint then copy this primary endpoint provide it here and paste it then it will ask for login or account key i would like to give the account key so that i don't have to do the login so let's scroll up you have access keys here and into the access keys you can uh, so we have this key one and key two so i'm going to use this one i say show then copy then i hide it again then i come here and paste it control v and i can see i have this uh, file so i say transform data i'll take them to transform data okay so i got my files here So let's say I only want this sales.csv so I can filter out sales.csv and then I can expand it so this is the data which I have in the CSV and in case we have some kind of encoding we can choose that So we got this and we say close and apply. I can go here and check. I have 30,000 rows in my sales table and I got that. So in the similar fashion i can add my other tables and then can follow the same thing what we are doing in all our demos using this file then creating that star schema creating majors columns and analyzing the data again rest all is same so go ahead and try this out do let me know how do you like this video thanks for watching this video thank you
Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.